Back to our program, Hope in Christ. We have with us Pastor Mike here. So, Pastor Mike, we'd like to give you the last uh, two minutes. Why don't you address our audience and uh, exhort them, encourage them? How do you reach out to the LGBT community? Okay, so first and foremost, you have to pray for them because there's nothing that we can do apart from God. So, we have to pray for them. Second, we have to start loving them. I mean, you know. Lain-lain na sila yung background, lain-lain na sila ways, you know, sometimes daw ka, sometimes you feel nga daw ka awkward, sometimes you feel daw ka luya. Of course, mag-upod ka palang alam sa ila, may stigma na mo nga, especially kung lalaki ka, mag-upod ka, ano ka na niya, lalaki ka na niya, di ba? So, kung isara ang shame, then sometimes na feeling nga daw, hindi sila mag-upod, then sometimes it's a big challenge for us, reaching out for them, because pwede ka ganyan ma-misinterpret, and sometimes, I mean, you know, Change doesn't happen overnight. So, ara kada magpalangga, kagbatasun gina niya. And then, until we see that God will begin to move. Ako kapatigid ko na iya, that wala imposible sa ginoo. It's just that, amula na akong ginapatiyan, kiti, if God will give you the burden or the heart to reach out for this community, you go. Kaya because kapatigid ko iya, that when there's vision, you will have God's provision. So, ma-empower na ang God sa iyo, He will grant you wisdom, strategies, you know, anointing, love, Kagtana na grace and the divine enablement it to do it. So para sa akin, you have to know that these people are hurting. Kagdamo dera ang dalum dalum na hurt. And of course, there are people that they are in denial. Nga they're okay but they're not. You know. So we have to to you know just love them and then just just let just allow them that as God opens their eyes, ako kapati it ko yung that they will begin to see the truth. I believe. Nga they will run after the truth, kina yah. So let's just wait upon God by waiting for that. We pray for them, we love them, we minister to them. Ako kapati ko yah. It's about relationship. It's you know, Christianity is all about relationship. So again, it is still about relationship. Yes. Maybe if you are reading your Bible, you will be familiar now with what Jesus Christ said in John chapter three, beginning verse sixteen, when he said, "For God so loved the world." That he gave this one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. And then he said, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Not to condemn. Jesus was was sent not to condemn, but to save, to show the love of the Father. Maybe we we too can become God's instruments. God's extension his hands uh, using our lives to reach out to the people now of course not only the lgbt community for everybody whether they be good people religious people criminals or drug addicts or uh, everybody needs this love that is why the bible tells us it was god's love that led him to send his one and only son so that whoever you say whoever whether you are a macho ka man or mainhin kang babae or LGBT ka, whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have eternal life. The key there is still the love that comes from God. I hope that uh, all of us will value people in the same way God valued us. Thank you so much for your time. I know na kulang na ang ating panahon but uh, We'll have Pastor Mike again in some other episodes to come. So uh, we look forward to having you again in this program, Hope in Christ. Thank you for your time. God bless us all. In Christ alone.